Uh, we've been looking at putting bubbles into the water used for cleaning and washing. Uh, the idea is that the bubbles have a cleaning action. Uh, there are many types of bubble generator. The ones that we've used are basically a Venturi with a recirculation zone. Um, the Venturi has a, an airline coming into it and you can adjust the amount of air that goes into the Venturi and when you do that it changes the size of the bubbles. So you can have nanoscale bubbles, micron scale bubbles or millimetre size bubbles which tend to create a jacuzzi sort of effect. Um, we've looked at the removal of biofilms from uh, stainless steel coupons, stainless steel samples. Um, the sort of starting point when you put a biofilm on, you've got a count, micro count, of around about 10 to the 6, uh, 10 to the 7, 10 to the 8 organisms. When you then apply water with no bubbles, that reduces by about one log. We then use small bubbles and it reduces further or if you lose large bubbles, you can get even greater effect. We've also looked at um, cooking on ready meal onto stainless steel, and then look at the removal by using uh, bubbles in water. Uh, in that case, again, the bubbles give an improvement uh, in the cleaning effect that's achieved. And that's if you put either the nozzle underneath the water for the cleaning, or you use the nozzle just as a spray into air. Either way, putting bubbles in the water improves the cleaning action. We've also looked at the uh, removal of biofilm that's being grown inside a pipe. And again, by introducing bubbles into the water, then we get an improvement in cleaning.